What's going on, my good people? Mike Hidalgo here. Thank you for joining us on another FCP Euro DIY. Today, we're going to be working on a 2008 W211 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG. Today on the W211, we're going to be covering how to replace your car battery. This is the main battery, which is located in the trunk of the E63 behind me. A couple of things to note when you're looking into replacing a battery is why you may need one. In some cases, you're going to have a slow cranking engine or a no crank situation. Uh, dim lights, oftentimes your interior lights won't go on, your door chime won't go off with the door open. In some very good situations, uh, the car will kind of give you a heads up. Uh, one of those can be a slow crank, but then the car will start. So just keep that in mind that not only could that be a bad starter, but it could be a battery that's getting weak on you. Another thing would be some vehicles will illuminate a battery light on the dash. They usually are red. Once that is on, that is a good telltale sign that your battery is either going out or your alternator is failing, for which then you can take a voltmeter to and check for that. Today, we're just going to be replacing the battery. The alternator is healthy in this vehicle. But before we get started on that, let's take a look at some of the tools we're going to need for this job. And now for tools. For this DIY, we're going to be using a ratchet. Today, we have a 3 8 drive with an extension, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 13 millimeter socket. Pretty small batch, so now that we know what we're working with, let's go ahead and get started on this battery replacement. All right, we are at the trunk of the W211. To get started, we're gonna remove our trunk mat. Simply lift up and pull it out. All right, now with that, we got a better view of our battery. We're gonna start by removing the safety strap and the lockdown plate, and then we'll go from there. All right, we're going to start by removing the strap on the battery hold down. Press the release tab and pull the fabric through a bit. Then you can unhook it from the side. We're going to use a 13 millimeter on an extension with our 3 8 drive ratchet to break this bolt free and remove it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and undo the negative terminal with our 10 millimeter socket on our ratchet. Oh, that's kind of loose. Go ahead and set that off to the side. You can take the cover off your positive terminal if you still have one and undo that one as well. Now we can pull the battery out. Strap is still good. You want to make sure that strap stays underneath the positive terminal. Now we can go ahead and place our new battery in place. We'll get our locking plate in. All right, feed that 13 in by hand. Then we'll go ahead and snug it down with the ratchet. Now we can take our strap, our safety strap, and reattach that. And just pull that nice and taut. Beautiful. With that battery secured now, we can remove this positive terminal cover and attach our positive terminal. Once we're happy with how it's seated, we can snug it back up with the 10 millimeter socket. Just nice and hand tight. Make sure it's not loose. You can go ahead and reinstall that cover for protection. Over on the negative terminal side of things, we'll take our protection cover off, install our negative, and same thing, tighten down that 10 millimeter nut. And actually, we're gonna put the genuine cover back on here. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit raised for that 10 millimeter nut. Now with our battery situated and safely strapped down, all we have left to do is reinstall our trunk mat. And there you have it, my good people. Another DIY in the books. Overall, a really straightforward and easy job on the W211. If your car is equipped with a spare, you're going to want to remove that first. And one thing you may want to do after installing the new battery is running the procedure on the relearn for the window switches as well as your sunroof if you have one. Just simply by holding down the open, holding up the close, about 10 seconds for each, should reset that system. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on what we did today or there's specific DIYs you want to see done on this car, leave them in the comment box below. And if you like this DIY and you want to see more like them, please consider subscribing. We make new ones all the time. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.